はいえー、と私のちょっとあのこの円卓会議のためのプレゼンというのは。So my presentation for this round table is not explained in the brochure. There is even no the title、uh, about, of my presentation. So I think this is、uh, completely new to, new to you. I、uh, will try to take some time to. Explain、uh, my topic. As introduced,、uh, my affiliation is Takagi School. And this afternoon, on the,、uh, after, uh, on the final day, uh, uh, in the afternoon on the fourth floor of this bu building, there will be a cafe or workshop type of event、uh, organized by my、uh, school, Takagi School. I also、uh, belong to Citizen Science Initiative Japan. Of, uh, an organization from which there、uh, was a questionnaire、uh, sent to IAEA, and uh, 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 we also received our answers to our questions、uh, from IAEA.、Uh, And this is the topic that I would like to focus on in this epidemiological and、uh, he public health session. This IAEA report is uh, uh, available for you to download from that website. So, in August last year, in the IAEA, before the General Conference in uh, uh, September, this was issued in August. And、uh, so, This is the uh, uh, outline report, and、uh, there's a tech doc, and、uh, there are six,、uh, a volume of six、uh, documents, and altogether there are more than 1,200 pages. And、uh, this is available in different languages,、um, five or six different languages. It's been translated, including Japanese language. And at the moment, regarding the、uh, Fukushima accident,、um, This is the most comprehensive report that is existing. And uh, uh, UNSCARE is also、um, reviewing and、uh, compiling the, uh, uh, the radiological、uh, science. And、uh, they have issued、uh, their document in、uh, 2013 as well about the, uh, uh, the Discharge and the、uh, impact. And、uh, at the moment,、uh, they say that、uh, there's not enough data、uh, for the health effect of the, the radiological release from Fukushima. And in Japan, since this、uh, Fukushima accident、uh, happened in Japan, whether the, uh, uh, the, there are other documents available, actually, the government has issued the,、uh, uh, the accident report. And、uh, this、um, mainly covers the emergency response. Of the Fukushima accident. And that's the main body of this、uh, document. And, uh, and uh, so, uh, Sakiyama san, as、uh, Sakiyama san said, there's some、um, uh, elaboration on the health effect, but,、uh, uh, this is but the volume is limited. And the next one. Now, IAEA, as an organization, has its own, own statute. And the objectives of the、uh, IAEA is that、uh, it shall seek to accelerate and enlarge the contribution of at atomic energy to peace, health, and prosperity throughout the world. And also,、um, it tries to、uh, make sure that、uh, nuclear will not be used for the military use, and、uh, they often go to reviews of different countries which are. Uh, subject to some suspicion of use for military. And、uh, there are many other international uh, organizations um, of the,、uh, re related to nuclear, and the IAEA is the,、uh, the biggest and the most influential. And、uh, so this, the UN family, which are being established under the ages of the uh, IAEA, and、uh, So that is uh, uh, shown, uh, sh described on the diagram on the left. And、uh, for under this, these circumstances, so、uh, basically CSIJ、uh, presented questions. And、uh, let me elaborate a little on the CSIJ. And、uh, there's a Citizen Science Initiative Japan, Initiative Japan, and、uh, there are、uh, Uh, engaged mainly in the、um, 
uh, solving of some social issues related to science and technology. And uh, uh, they are uh, working also in the field of uh, food and and, um, and uh, all the, the questions we raised or that the CSIJ raised to the IAEA, uh, both uh, shown in the home page, the, the website, both in Japanese and English. So if you're interested, please go to the website. And now the questions to IAEA. There are actually 16 of them. And related to the radiological consequence, consequences and the post-accident recovery. And uh, there are 16 questions um, asked to IAEA. And the response has been received. And in this report, the, the, there's a phrase um, that is often used uh, that is affected. And also evacuation and a relocation are used. In Japan, uh, we mostly say evacuation. Now, we wondered what relocation means exactly. And uh, we asked the question about that, too. And also, uh, when it comes to the uh, dosimetry, um, we asked a few questions, or the, the uh, CSIJ asked a few questions, and also the health effects related questions, and also observations and the things to think about for the future related to health effects. And the uh, last part of the questions are about the um, decontamination and remediation efforts and off site. And uh, so uh, this relates to the number 12, 13, and 14 of our questions today. Now, uh, this is uh, uh, question 12 out of 16 questions. And this relates to, so actually, in English version, it's in uh, page 138. And the Japanese uh, version is in 100. Page 127, and uh, it says the risks of radiation exposure and the attribution of health effects to radiation need to be clearly pre presented to stakeholders, making it an ambiguous that any increases in the occurrence of health effects in populations are not attributable to exposure to radiation if levels of exposure are similar to the global average background level of radiation. and. Uh, that's what it said uh, in the uh, IAEA report. And uh, I find uh, that uh, this is very different from uh, um, what's generally said. So we asked the question, so even if, so there are a number of uh, uh, epidemiological study results that uh, can recognize the uh, uh, the the rate of the uh, the disease uh, occurrence, um, even in the uh, uh, the exposure uh, in equivalent level to the uh, background level, and it took them six months to respond to our question um, about the IAEA response to the fact that there are a number of uh, epidemiological study results available. Um, now, uh, basically. Uh, IAEA simply um, extracted the uh, uh, the statement by Unscare. In uh, 2012, Unscare uh, issued a report, and uh, they basically extracted that content in their response to this question. And uh, they're dealing with the different levels of the exposure, and as a result, and. The basically, uh, the a record-based case uh, control study of natural background radiation in the incidence. Oh, excuse me. Uh, they're saying that uh, we showed evidence in which health effects are increased even though exposure to the background levels of radiation. And uh, uh, so there is no uh, specific comment raised by IAEA to this question, and also the uh, statement uh, that had already been made by Elsecare. And uh, then, so we, or the, so the question or the comment was made, 
comment will be made uh, or the question will be raised to IAEA whether the uh, IAEA has the uh, evidence to support this. Now, we looked into the uh, 2012 um, report by the uh, UNSCARE, and this is uh, uh, basically uh, we saw exactly the same uh, description uh, which was included in the IA response, and so basically they copied and pasted. And uh, so um, this is because it says this is because of the uncertainties associated with the assessment of risks at low doses, the current ab absence of radiation specific biomarks for health effects and the insufficient statistical power of epidemiological studies. And uh, so therefore, unscare. Um, so multiplication uh, means that uh, uh, the collective dose is the should not be used to uh, assess the, uh, uh, the, the exposure. And uh, there's no um, mention, there's no specific mention uh, on the evidence. And uh, so now related to the, uh, uh, the observations and lessons, um, we have uh, the, the raised three questions and uh, so the que next question was that uh, IA would should IAEA endorse the uh, uh, LNT concept and this is related to uh, Mr. Keith's um, presentation and also in Japan the thyroid cancer uh, examination uh, is underway and or survey is underway and in relation to thyroid uh, according to UNSCARE uh, the accumulation uh, is around 10 milligray, and uh, but uh, thyroid uh, cancer itself is a rare disease, as in the case of leukemia and uh, uh, brain tumor. So uh, we asked whether uh, such a rare disease should be um, recognized, uh, as in the case of other rare diseases, and this, and also. Um, the stakeholder should also be clearly notified about this. And uh, so IAEA responded that uh, they do um, deploy, apply the LNT model and, uh, and also they wondered what United Nations family exactly meant. And, uh, but there was no mention on the questions three and four. And another uh, question is uh, question 13, and uh, it says something that uh, we consider is important. So in Fukushima Prefecture, uh, there's the uh, uh, old citizens' uh, uh, health examination underway. And uh, those that type of uh, uh, health survey is extremely important. However, this should not be interpreted as the uh, epidemiological study. We didn't quite understand uh, this uh, statement. Uh, does it mean uh, that uh, the uh, health survey is not necessary or not useful, or, or sh uh, shouldn't we do, do that? Uh, and uh, uh, does it also mean that the epidemiological studies are also important and useful? But do you mean that the epidemiological uh, uh, studies are un unnecessary, or should not should we not do that? Well. Because we thought that uh, uh, the uh, main purpose of uh, uh, epidemiological studies, in our opinion, is uh, to uh, identify whether or not there is uh, an uh, influence from the radiation on the health. So because we believe it is essential to do epidemiological study. So uh, we looked at the websites uh, uh, about uh, the uh, health survey and what uh, the website says in English version and in Japanese version of the same website are slightly different uh, from each other. In uh, the English website, it says 
The Radiation Medical Science Center Fukushima Health Management Survey, Fukushima Medical University, uh, it says that the purpose of the survey is explained as follows. The primary purposes of this survey are to monitor the long-term health of residents, promote their future well-being, and confirm whether long-term low-dose radiation exposure has health effects. While in the Japanese website, it says uh, as follows. The survey was launched to estimate external external exposure of the people in Fukushima Prefecture, which is essential for prevention, early detection, and treatment of diseases. The goal is to protect and promote the long-term health of Fukushima residents. So the health promotion is common, uh, whether the website is uh, in English or in Japanese, but uh, uh, to confirm about uh, the uh, prefectural residents' health conditions, that statement is not very clear from the Japanese version, although we believe uh, it's uh, epidemiological studies purpose. And the next slide shows the IAEA's response. We received this answer. They say that health surveys are very important and useful. And but the re uh, report of IAEA underlined that they are different from epidemiological study. The uh, epidemiological studies are key elements to explore health effects in large populations subsequent to enhanced exposures to radiation doses, uh, such as uh, the survivors of the eight atomic weapons in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So they say that in Hiroshima and Nagasaki cases, epidemiological studies are very important. That's it. Uh, I feel that they uh, just uh, uh, didn't answer uh, squarely the questions, which increases uh, my doubts. Uh, so well, uh, I don't understand what's the intention behind uh, on the part of IAEA uh, in their emphasizing the difference between the epidemiological studies and the health surveys. Do they think that epidemiological studies are not that important? Uh, well, epidemiological studies and uh, uh, researches uh, 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 rely on a lot of uh, information and data which are obtained uh, from uh, and thanks to health survey. And uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki are mentioned in the uh, EA, IAEA response, but uh, when we look at the populations, uh, look at uh, when we look at the population in uh, here, Fukushima uh, Health Survey, compared to the population in the Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki studies, the, the population is much, much larger, putting aside the level of uh, 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 dose. Uh, there are 300,000 subject to the health survey in uh, uh, Fukushima, that much more uh, larger population uh, subject to Hiroshima and Nagasaki uh, epidemiological studies. Uh, that's what I... Uh, thought about reading IAEA's response. Next slide, please. Uh, uh, last not but least, uh, we also mentioned the post-accident recovery and the off-site remediation of areas affected by the accident. Uh, in the report of IAEA, it is said that the, the authorities in Japan adopted a reference level as a target level of those for the overall remediation strategy. This level was consistent with the lower end of the range specified in international guidance. Does uh, everybody know reference level here? In the ICRP report, this uh, reference level is very often uh, mentioned. Uh, one millisievert uh, per year uh, or below is uh, the uh, level we should not exceed. I think you recall that. Uh, but the reference level uh, is about uh, emergency uh, circumstances, ICRP proposed uh, number. And uh, uh, in uh, the uh, latest uh, uh, report in the 2007, they uh, quite emphasized that it. LAT, LNT non, uh, uh, is the basic concept here. So uh, in order the uh, very purpose of this uh, uh, is to reduce the right uh, exposure and to reduce the level of dose. I would like to ask, uh, uh, raise uh, your hand if you are very familiar uh, uh, with the notion of reference level. 
uh, because at least I believe that the Japanese government has not let you know about this. Perhaps uh, the Japanese government has been operating with it uh, uh, behind our backs, but uh, not officially anyway. So, uh, the, uh, for instance, uh, uh, the one, uh, when it goes uh, one minute uh, sievert per year, they, uh, it su becomes subject to the decontamination and uh, one becquerel per kilogram for food, that's the threshold, that uh, uh, is what is being said by Japanese government. But is it the same as the reference level uh, mentioned by IAEA or what are the uh, numbers adopted by the Japanese government and what are the uh, foundations of them? That's the question that we uh, asked subsequently about this. And the response uh, is, as you can see on this slide, uh, in uh, international radiation protection standards, uh, that means ICRP standards, a reference level represents the level of dose or risk above which it is judged to inappropri inappropriate to plan to allow uh, exposures to occur and below which optimization of protection should be implemented in emergency or uh, existing controllable exposure situations. Well, the text is difficult to understand. You, you can an uh, ask questions later on. So uh, controllable is what the IAEA said. So that there is contamination, but it is controllable, uh, sub uh, provided that the contamination measures are taken. Then, uh, by optimization of the air, air radiation level, uh, we we can deal with that. And uh, as, and they uh, mention optimization of protection. And um, the chosen value for a reference level will depend upon the prevailing circumstances of the exposure under consideration. They s say that that means that depending on the con uh, circumstances, uh, the uh, number can be lowered. But they also said that it is recommended that the reference level in the aftermath of an accident should fall in the band between 1 to 20 millisievert per year. That is the same uh, to uh, the ICRP report. So basically uh, what IAEA replied is the same as what ICRP is saying. S that means that the general discussion which is con uh, included in the ICRP report was merely given by uh, IAEA as their response. So the fact that the uh, Japanese government has not adopted a reference level or not, uh, as far as this IAEA response is concerned, it is totally unclear yet. So uh, we have not asked for this type of general discussion because uh, specifically we asked uh, about the IAEA's uh, uh, interpretation of what Japan had uh, did uh, done or not in our question. So uh, we, uh, it is also unclear that uh, IAEA uh, is referring to the decontamination that I mentioned earlier that was uh, actually done or not. So this is my conclusion uh, summary slide. What uh, uh, became visible to us from IAEA responses is the following. Well, in Fukushima, we had uh, various uh, radiation-related uh, uh, conferences, and in those uh, meetings, experts uh, of IAEA or international nuclear lobbies uh, seemingly uh, did not reply in squarely inconvenient questions for them. And we had the same feeling from this uh, uh, response document from IAEA I've just explained. But when uh, uh, that means uh, we suppose that if the, they did not uh, clearly deny what we proposed, uh, uh, that means that they uh, understand that what we said was the uh, truth. And the epidemiology studies that we've been discussing uh, uh, from this morning, and uh, uh, we uh, very uh, much regret that uh, we have not received a clear uh, answers from IAEA about the epidemiological studies uh, relevance not. However, we were able to obtain uh, IAEA's response saying that they had adopted LNT, uh, so, uh, model, and uh, so uh, uh, that means that uh, uh, IAEA uh, has not addressed the Japanese government issues uh, seriously, and uh, 
uh, raising from 1 to 20 million silver to a year. Uh, that fact uh, by Japanese government, that raise has been criticized very much from uh, uh, within and outside of Japan. And uh, they say that this is a long term target. And uh, uh, that's the word of the Japanese government. And they talk about existing conditions. And they uh, talk about a long-term exposure. And uh, these words are often used as an excuses to uh, avoid a clear explanation uh, about the raising from 1 to 20 millisievert per year. And uh, now, uh, regarding the point of distinction uh, between this uh, uh, health survey and epidemiological studies, we believe that IAEA answers uh, uh, tried to uh, make the whole uh, discussion more ambiguous. We do, do believe that uh, uh, conducting the health survey is directly conducted to uh, doing epidemiological uh, studies. So it just seems that international organizations, as well as the authorities in Japan, intend not to prevent health damages, but to maintain nuclear regime. Thank you very much.